Greetings guys, it's Irish again. In this video I thought I would show you how to uh, get Polybar to work with inside Xmonad. Now I was on BSPWM. Uh, BSPWM does not you know, have a bar by default. <clears throat> well either, neither does Xmonad, but a lot of people have been using Polybar uh, with i3 and within BSPWM. It's pretty straightforward with those window managers. I did a video on Polybar and BSPWM. However, I have been trying for the last few days to get Polybar to work inside Xmonad. So I actually have finally gotten it last night and I would like to show you my steps on how to get this to go. Now, from what it looks like, uh, let me show you an old video of mine. This is what my bar used to look like. Uh, it was inside Xmonad, I'm sorry, Xmobar, and this had a separation one which had a standalone tray. So I'm going to try to replicate this except for the little uh, icon there uh, inside Polybar. Now it took me a long time since it's really not well documented on what you need to do for the Polybar and Xmonad, but I did find a guy's uh, blog. Let me see if I can find that. Um, but let me show you my Xmonad's, um, my old one. I had to pretty much re-gut the whole thing to make this work. Uh, I'm going to bring my new one. It will be on the left hand side and my old one will be on the right hand side. So dot x monad x monad dot h dot back. So uh, the first thing you would need to do to get this to work is add dbus d, dbus client as d, codec binary utf 8 dot string as utf 8 and then the xmonad hooks dot dynamic log. I did not have that in my other one. Now the whole change is right here with inside the main uh, function which is the main equals do. I'll show you what this looks like. So you're going to use a separate program called X log, excuse me, xmonad.log. <clears throat> That's what takes, um, it pipes everything in your main uh, configuration file to Polybar. You can get it to work without this, but I think I have a screenshot of where you can see the right hand side here, but the left hand side is blank. So you could, I guess, mix and match. Xmo bar within <clears throat> within Polybar, but there's what fun is that? So what you need to do is pretty much you can I will upload this to my GitHub and I will link it down below. Uh, you just have to redo it. So main equals an in out input. Uh, it's all through Dbus, and then you just have to say Xmonad dollar sign. EWMH, which helps with other stuff, docs and defaults, and then the log hook. The log hook took me a little bit since you can see it's a little different. It has Xmobar color here, where I had to do like a function. I'm still not familiar with the Haskell code on this, but it's a function. And then I also named it blue. So if we look up at my uh, further up in my Xmonad, I create colors based off of these right here. So gray equals this one, which should make it invisible. Uh, gray 2 is this lighter gray, so you can still see which ones have uh, stuff in it. Uh, and then red is 9000, blue is this nice blue color, and then white I'm probably not going to use so you can reference this and then I had font awesome in here but I'll, I'll get to that in a little bit but to get font awesome to work was uh, 
took me a little bit because I thought you had to pipe it through inside your main xmonad.sh uh, file here. But that is not the case. So, what? Okay, so that is all you really needed to do for inside your xmonad config. Um, you can copy just this part here from line uh, 282 down to here, which is line 30, and that should work out for you. Uh, the next thing you would need to do is get your polybar to work. So the X uh, within, I'm going to do a separate video from what some of my subscribers would like to see is how to configure polybar. I'll try to go more into detail in that video whenever I get a chance to make that, but <clears throat> Uh, so you're going to have a separate uh, configuration file called polybar.config. And um, this is where a lot of the stuff is from like i3 and other. So what you want to do is create a module called xmonad. Create a type equals custom slash script. And then you're going to um, execute it for xmonad.log. So that will take in effect my startup stuff right here, and then also my what uh, layout I'm on, and then also my work uh, my workspaces to get poly uh, to get font awesome to show up. Because without what I'm about to show you, this would just say one. There'll be a blank space, two blank space. So inside polybar again, I will go more into detail uh, on this. But you want to put in font awesome into your polybar. And once you do that, everything will show up. And then, so your modules or is going to be your left is xmonad. And then all this is going to be on the right hand side. You can rearrange this however you want. The one final thing that I need to do <clears throat> is the global WM. Uh, this was set up for uh, BSPWM, so I think it was on like 5. It may not look like much, but you'll see a little 5 pixel gap right above this window. So once I refresh here, you're going to see that little gap. And that drove me up a wall trying to get that gap out because it's not padded correctly. This thing was padded for... Uh, Xmo bar so but yeah that has what I've been doing uh, the last uh, week or so trying to get this to work I did enjoy polybar on BSPWM I still have it installed I may go back to it I just need to change my polybar uh, to get BSPWM to work but yeah um, if you have any questions I will put the link down below also to the guys uh, the blog post and the other uh, file that I got uh, the main log hook from. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, sorry to glance over this. I would have done this live, but I think it would have been pretty boring seeing me stumble on this. So if you have, if you guys have any questions, please let me know, um, and I will try to make a tutorial on how to theme uh, polybar because I've kind of done that already with my uh, keyboard layout which which one that I'm on so hopefully you guys have a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next video